आज डाउटनट ऐप डाउनलोड करा डाउटनट वर इतना सवी तो बारावी करता मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री और बायोलॉजी के सर्व डाउट्स आते का सोड़ना ही मराठी फक्त तुम्हारा अड़े प्रश्न का फोटो काड़ा त्याला क्रॉप करा आणि त्वरित वीडियो सॉल्यूशन मिलवा आणि असे बरेच वीडियो बग्यासाठी डाउट नोट मराठी यूट्यूब चैनल ला सब्स्क्राइब करा तो वी हैव गिवन द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द एफसीएफ एंड आल्सो द एलसीएम ऑफ 48 एंड 60 सो लेट अस फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एफसीएफ ऑफ द टू नंबर्स व्हिच वी हैव गिवन First is 48 and the another is 60. So in order to find the HCF, what we are going to do that first of all let's understand what does HCF means, right? So what does HCF means? It is nothing but highest common factor, right? It is nothing but highest common factor. So what does this means? It is nothing but we have to find a common factor which can be easily divided with all, both of these two numbers, right? So, what we are going to do in this question, let us find separately factors of 48 and 60. Then let's find the common factors to find a number which can be divided with both of these numbers. So, let's first of all write 48 number and let's take its LCM, okay? Let's factorize this. So it can be easily divided with 2. Uh, it gives 2 times 2 give you 4. Then 2 times 4 will give you 8. Then again by 2 it will give you 12. Then again by 2 times 6 will give you 12. Then by 3. Then this will be by 3. So we have got these factors of 48. Now let's factorize 60 also. So what we are going to get in factorization of 60? Let's first of all do with 2. So we will get 2 times 3 will give you 6. Then 0 as it is. Then 2 times 1 will give you 2. Then 1 to the carry. Then 2 times 5 will give you 10. Right? Now this can be divided with the 3. So 3 times 5 will give you 15. Now 5 can be only divided with the 5. So let's divide it and you will get 1. Now you have get the factors of 60 as these are. Now let's write these factors in the rows, right? So 48 can be written in the form of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we here we have 4 times 2 and 1, 3. So let's write it here. Now let's write 60, 60's factors. So it is nothing but 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So let's write it as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now Let's move to the definition of HCF which is nothing but highest common factor. So let's find the common factor between these two numbers so that we may find a highest number which can be a factor of both of these numbers. So let's find a number which is common. So here we see in 2. So what we can say that, uh, that uh, we have to here right and also to here. So we can make pair of it. So we have a pair of 2 right here which is coming in both of these numbers. Now also again we have another 2 and another 2 is also there. So we can make pair out of that and we can also say that two 2's are coming in both of these factors. Now if we take this 2 then there is a problem. We are not having any left 2's in our 60's factors. So we cannot take further this 2 and also this 2. But if you see this 3, we are getting 3 also here. So we can make pair of 3 also. So these are what we have done now. And after this, we are not going to get any factors common in these two numbers. So let's write that HCF means highest common factor. So for highest, we have to multiply all these common numbers, right? So HCF of these two numbers will be the first common factor was 2 times the another common factor was also 2 and the third common factor was 3. So let's multiply all these numbers. So what we are going to get? It will be 4 times 3, right? Then it will become 12. So what we have get that HCF 
of these two numbers is nothing but 12. Now there is a identity which says that SCF of any two numbers times LCM of any two numbers is equals to the product of the two numbers. Okay. So we know this fact that the SC of the two numbers and the LCM of the two numbers if we multiply both of them we will get the product of the two numbers. So by this formula we can easily find the rest LCM after finding the SCM of the two numbers. Right. So what we have find the HCF it is nothing but 12. Right. Now let's write LCM as it is which is equals to nothing but the product of the two numbers. Now we had 48 and 60 in the products. So let's write 48 times 60. Okay. Now we can divide 12 in both of the equal sides. So let's write it as LCM times 12 is divided by 12 and also 48 times 60 is divided by 12. Why we are dividing it by 12? Because we know we have 12 times LCM so that this will become only LCM we are dividing it with 12. Now 12 will be cancelled with the 12 and this will become only LCM. What we need to find our second thing. Now let's divide these things. So we already know that 12 times 5 will give you 60. So this can easily be divided. Now we just rest with 48 times 5. Now let's multiply 5 times 8 will give you 40. So 0 to the 1's digit. Now 5 times 8 will give you 40 and 4 is to the carry. Now 5 times 4 will give you 20 and 20 plus 4 will give you 24. Now this will be 240 which is nothing but our LCM. Now what does LCM means? LCM means lowest common multiple. So what does it really means? Actually means is that these are, this, this is the lowest number which can be divided with both of these numbers, right? And what does SCF means? Let's find a number which can be divided with both of these numbers. So there is a little bit of difference in SCF and LCM. Thanks for watching.